Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a couple Scrap Diva Design uh, project shares um, for you guys today. And I just wanted to let you guys know that all of the uh, June release dies are back in stock. So if you didn't get a chance to grab them, um, you can go ahead and check out her website, uh, scrapdivadesigns.com. And you can use my coupon code, which is NAT10, um, to save yourself on the order. Okay, so let's jump right in. So the last video I showed you guys, um, I did a the the baby girl mini uh, tutorial, how I turned it into a card. So I just wanted to show you what I did afterwards. I didn't think about it until afterwards. Um, so I decided to go ahead and create a super cute little envelope, and I put a belly band around it. Um, I just one. I wanted to see if I could make it fit because it is a it is a pretty large die, but um, I just wanted to create some sort of a packaging for it. So um, of course I just added this cute little belly band. Um, this is some Maggie Holmes paper, and I just layered some cute little things on top of a, a circular um, die cut with some chipboard and I use this really pretty like gold butterfly that is a part of the ephemera for this. But this is a really cool idea, especially if you are gonna make the card. Um, this envelope, I used my envelope punch board um, or you can use your Martha Stewart scoreboard. Uh, you can use that to make envelopes. Um, but this is a six by seven uh, envelope. So I just wanted to give that a try and the cool thing about this see the the card the base of the card is almost as tall as the top of it um so i thought this was a perfect fit for it so um of course that's the card that i did the tutorial with you guys and the cool thing is you can also fit a um uh, one of the card stands in there um so that you um so the person can display it if they choose to but I just thought that was a, a cool idea to give a try um if you're especially if you're wanting to make the card and send it to somebody that's super duper fun so anyways uh that's that and then let me just stand that up um then let me show you a couple of the other projects that I've been working on um so uh, this is the first time I did the toast and egg uh die I have used the toast out of that, but I, I've never used the egg. So I wanted to make this super cute little um, memory decks card. Uh, this is a Coco and Reno memory decks card that I used. Um, so that's how I, um, th there's a little pocket there. That's what everything is sitting inside of. But I thought that would be so super fun. And I love av avocado toast. I don't know about you guys, but when I eat it, I eat it with an egg and an avocado. <laughs> so anyways, um, that's my little spin on that. Um, I just added this super cute little bow um, on the front, which has a, a double layer bow. Um, I added a pretty flower there. Um, I used a farmhouse collection. Um, to create this, that's why I have this little sticker right there, um, because that's the paper uh, line that it came with. But I just thought that would be super fun to create a little pocket with the toast and egg, and then this uh, avocado. I did go ahead and I'm um, just create that with my Cricut, which I'm going to show you guys something really quick at the end, because I always have people asking me how do I find my images. So I'm going to quickly show you that uh, on my tablet. I think I still have my Cricut on there, um, the Cricut app. So let me um, get through this video and I'll show you guys that at the end. But I just thought that was super cute, a cute little memory decks that I could share with somebody. So that's the next project. And then I decided to make one more um, of the flower pots um, that I... I already made one, but I wanted to give give that a go again. So um, I decided to create one with a uh, made out of tulips. So I just found this tulip cut apart 
um, in my Cricut. I double layered every one of them and just put some foam tape in between just to give it a little bit of a dimension on there. And then three of the roses I layered on top of the um, front piece here. And then I just added two more on the back um, to layer. Or actually, I'm sorry, I did five. I, did, I forgot that I did that. <laughs> so yeah, I glued three on the front and two to the to the back of the lid is what I did. And then I had two more right here and that's how I got my little stems for the um, the tulips to kind of be sticking out there. So I thought that was a super fun idea to uh, do it this way. And I just added some little stickers on there. You are my sunshine. And I added, added this cute little um, sun on there. But how fun. So those are the projects that I have been creating lately. Of course, we already uh, did that together. Let me just grab my, um, my, you know what this is called, my iPad. Hold on. I should have been prepared. Give me two seconds. I think I still have Cricut on here. Let's hope and pray. I don't think I removed it, but... Okay, let's see. Oh, dang it. Hold on. I think I did take it off. <laughs> It'll just take a second. I just gotta log in. Just a brief silent hold. Doesn't that sound like a... When you call customer service. Um, hold on. It's coming up. Okay. All right, so it's logging me in um, to my account. So um, let me just show you. I'm just going to show you guys with my hands. Um, so I'm all logged in. And again, you guys, I can only speak for um, a Cricut maker. I know that I'm sure some of the machines look very similar, but I can only speak about the Cricut maker in particular. But maybe there are some, some similarities. So what I do is, because when you first come in, there's lots of projects that you can do and make right here just by logging in. But when I want to find specific images, I go to my canvas. And then what I do is down here in the corner, there is a button that says images. So I'm just going to go in here. So already you can see some images. Now these all say purchased for the most part, except for if it's like Disney or Hello Kitty or something. Because I pay the $9.99 subscription fee, it says that I can do, I don't have to purchase them. So if ever you do have to purchase them, they, uh, it would have a price right here instead of purchased. But again, that comes with the $9.99 subscription fee. So lots of you guys always go, how do you find those images? And I just literally just type in what it is that I want to. Like um, when I was looking for the tulip, I just typed in tulip. And then you can just scroll down. I'm For the most part, I usually only buy... Um, or I only use the ones that are free. The ones that are not in here, mainly I buy them from Etsy, but I have purchased a couple uh, in Design Space, but I really try to utilize the free ones. So tons of different um, tulips in here. I can't remember exactly which one I use, but there's tons to choose from and tons of images uh, that you can find. But that's how I do it. I just I just literally look. And even if you don't have it, like I said, even if you do not have, um, if you're not paying for the $9.99 uh, for the Cricut Design Space, 
you can still see the images. It's just that there, there would be a price next to it um, for all of your images uh, if you're not paying for the $9.99. So yeah, that's all I do. I just click on the images. Sometimes if you're on a computer, they're on this side, but I just look for images and then use the search and look for, you know, grab what I'm looking for. And then once you pick what you want, then of course it's going to pop onto your screen and then you can hit make it and go from there. So I hope that was helpful. I know lots of you always ask me where I'm finding things from, but that's how I do it um, to uh, make little cute things like the little avocado. But in this particular case, this avocado, I did purchase this from Etsy, I think. I think I did. Um, so, but as you can see, there was plenty of uh, free images in there um, that you can use. I think, I, I want to say there's over 10,000. There's lots of images in there. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Again, my coupon code for Erica's store is NAT10 and everything, all the June release is back in stock. So I will talk to you guys all very soon. You guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.